Y'all know it's Friday? It is Friday. About time, huh? That's it. Well, still got the deal of the week, huh? Still got the deal of the week. Man, that thing should have been gone. Well, we've had we've had a couple people interested. Um, a couple people are going to talk to their spouse to see what they think, and then um, a couple people are in the process or either buying a car or buying a house, so they don't want to run it until after yeah, that. Yeah. I totally get that. Um, I know when I used to work at the dealership, the biggest thing was, uh, are you fixing to buy a house? Because that all gets factored in. Mm -hmm. uh, I've actually seen people uh, buy a car and then go to try to buy a house, and it's like, yeah, you, you're gonna have to wait a little while now. You know, I don't, I don't know if it's the hit on the credit or if it's what it is. Right. Um, but I, I have seen that happen. So probably the debt to income too, all that of a sudden it. jumping up. You know. Um, but I know uh, right before we bought our house, that was one of the main things. Don't make no, don't make no big purchase right now. Mm -hmm. um, which that cart's nowhere near a car. Right. Uh, but it's still a run on the credit. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have seen um, where paying off a debt can drop you, you know, 10, 15 points. I've also seen buying something can drop you just as many. So I, I respect them for waiting and getting the main right. thing first. Yeah. House or a car is a lot more important. Uh, exactly. When you're starting off, anyway. So. Well, what new cool tools you got this week? We've I know actually you got to have something. <laughs> we've actually been showing the ratcheting um, balancer puller. Okay. Um, it it's able to do it without all the um, adjusting pins and all the different mm -hmm. legs and stuff like that. So it's just a quicker, easier tool to get them off with. Um, so this is. Sort of like the ratchets, it's got the yep. little grooves cut in it. It, it, just it snaps does. in the size you need, I guess. Yep, so it has the GM forward, uh, what they'll fit on and everything. Um, and then it has the miscellaneous, what it'll do. A lot of the guys like this because, it, like I said, it eliminates the need for the different size pins mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, uh, plus, you don't have to have the other um, locking arms and stuff. I like the way it has the bigger hook there. It's not just one, you know, most of them have just a little bitty. Oh yeah, just, just a small. All it takes is being uh, just a little crooked mm -hmm. and it'll pop right off. Um, that that is allows it to get a bigger bite and everything as well, so. That's cool. Um, it's, it's been a good seller. Uh, they were hard to get for a little while. Some of the other dealers had them way before I did. I think they were actually had them back last year and then when I went to jump on board to get them, when I found out about them, they were already back ordered. So we got them in, a lot of interest in them, so we figured we'd show them. Seems like Matco's like the king of that. They'll have the newest, hottest thing, and then it's gone. And then it takes forever for it to get back Unfortunately, in. we do run into that. Um, like they test the waters and like, oh, it's good. Oh, it's going to take a while to get it. <laughs> so. I've heard, you know, that the forecasting... Um, we almost always overshoot the forecasting. Um, not to dive real deep into it, but that would tell me to go bigger on forecasting. Mm -hmm. But I think they don't want to get a, a, to basically have a warehouse full that they can't move, and I understand yeah. that. Um, but it, it is that kind of aggravating every once in a while to um, something to come out and it be real hot, and then go to order it and be like, well, dang, you know. What happened That's here? like those magnetic, the lock and socket trays with the magnets on the end. Yeah. Um, Holy cow, them things went like crazy and then never again, you know. Well, there's been a lot of stuff that way too. Um, you know, it'd be come out, and some of it we have no way of knowing that, right. that it'll be that popular. And then some of it's like, oh yeah, this is going to be super great. This is going to be, you know, the greatest thing ever. And then it's like, well, dang, I sold four now I can't get no more, so. But we got our hands on it now, so we're showing everybody. You um, we've ran into that with you know the ratchets and stuff too, um, to where they they go to where they're not selling, and all of a sudden you sell out. Yeah, yeah. Um, which that's a good thing to sell out, but it just sucks when it takes ninety days to get them back in. It you know? does, and it and it's kind of been um, it's kind of worsened with um, materials have being harder to get and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Uh, and the crazy part about it is now you're not only forecasting 
will it sell we got a forecast will it sell with price increases and everything else with material going yeah, up and right. um, the cost to get it here or there because fuel's going up shipping containers going up everything's going up basically so well i know it was like um you know when something's hot you got to keep it going yeah you know because just like the twin grips they was probably the biggest tool launch in years you know when they yeah. come out well they back ordered so people started looking for alternatives and then they found the vampire and the engineer pliers yeah and they went that route you know but if they hadn't have been back ordered i think they would have been hot all the way through you know yeah um if you ever let that ball stop rolling it's kind of like i know you've had to push cars in the shop that didn't run i see it as long as you keep it pushing it's okay but when you have to stop to do something getting it started again is always worse you know <laughs> yes um very much so we used to have to push a car around the shop into a deal um Going around a curve is not that hard if the car's moving. Oh, yeah, just keep her moving. But if you're going around a curve and you stop mid-curve, mm -hmm. well, you better go get three more people because yep. you don't have that momentum. So we okay. do see that, and I try to combat that by ordering uh, a lot right off the bat. Mm -hmm. I had to learn that the hard way of having you know something hot on the truck and then it's selling out. Well, I only ordered two. Now I have none. So at the last meeting, uh, we had these cool little headlights that are really popular right now. Uh, everybody's got them. So I ordered 25. Well, apparently every distributor ordered 25 <laughs> because I've still not got none. And mm -hmm. that's been over, you know, that's probably been three or four months, uh, not three or four months, three or four weeks now, so. Well, how is y'all's toolbox situation? Is it still way out or they finally got it down to where you? They sent out a thing the other day saying that the wait time uh, has lessened. Um, it ain't where it was. It's not where you can order and have it right now. Right. Um, but it, it has gotten better. Um, from what I hear, they announced that they're going to also extend some approvals to help with that. Um, that way the guy is automatically approved and all that. But um, they are working to get that fixed they were changing some processes in the plant to help that process as well um hopefully it used to be where we always had something in stock hopefully mm -hmm. we get back that way here soon right um you can tell by my truck i haven't had a box in a little while so i'd like to have one back on the truck mm -hmm. as well um so we'll see it's hard to sell if you ain't got it you know well i can guarantee you you're probably you, it's almost a positive that you're not going to sell it if you ain't got it because I think a lot of people buy toolboxes on impulse buys. Because yeah. just here, like watching Wally buy boxes and Bill buy boxes and me buy boxes and other people that bought boxes. Like when Hamilton sold that orange box, the guy come on the truck to buy a screwdriver set. And just like, oh, I love that box. I gotta have that box. And then I was like, holy crap, what's the chances that a guy buying a screwdriver set ends up getting a box, you know? So we've actually had the same happen on a lot of a lot of our box sales and a lot of our cart sales, a lot of our bundle deals. Um, they come on, they either think that they don't have the credit to get it or they think the payment will be too high. Yeah. Um, and then the next thing you know, they're we're rolling it off the back. Um, the last box that I sold was to a guy that told me he would never buy a box. Mm -hmm. That he would stick with his Harbor Freight box. He would never buy a box. And I took him for his word. And I showed up on a day that neither one of us thought there would be a box deal for a little while because we've sold a bunch of boxes. Um, we've basically saturated the area with macro toolboxes, which I'm okay with. Mm -hmm. uh, kid hops on the truck and looks at me and says, hey, I didn't know you could have this color. And I said, yeah. He opens it up, he, you know, next thing I know, he's wanting to know a price. We're rolling it off the back of the truck and he's got a, a macro box that he said he'd never buy. So um, if I hadn't had it on here, I'd have never sold it. Yep. So. Well, that's just like last, you know, when we showed this, this cart deal, everybody wants to fuss about how long the payments are, how long the payments are, how much the interest is and how much it's gonna cost you to get it. We've talked about this a hundred times. Just because the payment's $35 a week don't mean you only have to pay $35 a week. So here's the thing, MACO does not make you make however many payments. Mm -hmm. Like most of the time, 
we do it to the 250 payments. Michael don't make you do that. You can right. pay it off in four. Mm -hmm. Go on with your bad self if that's what you want to yeah, do. Exactly. Um, but then also, the, the interest thing is what gets me. Everybody's mad about the interest, right? We don't determine the interest. Uh, go try to go try to take a loan out of bank. They're yeah. going to have higher interest. Now, your credit card companies are always going to have higher interest mm -hmm. because most of the time you're a higher risk with a credit card, right? Yeah, and it's unsecured debt too, um, right? Like, yes. You well, know, you it's can't the, go get your groceries back after you eat them. Correct. Mm -hmm. It's basically the same thing with a toolbox. And the reason I say that with, is because when you go to a bank, you go to your home bank. Mm -hmm. If I went to Alabama right now and picked any amount of number of box or of banks, they don't know me. I don't live in the area. They're going to tell me no. I'm yeah. probably going to add a, another three-letter word in front of that. Um, but if I go right across the street where I bank at, they're going to say yeah because mm -hmm. they know where I live. Yeah. They they know me. My they know my family. They know you know. It, it's just that's the way it is. Well, the Maco A doesn't know you. We, and we don't know when you're going to decide to take that box from Mississippi to California because you've yeah. decided to change. Um, so the interest rate is a little higher because you have a bigger flight risk, right? Mm -hmm. Now, they do have lower interest. So if your credit score is super high, I mean, I've seen as low as 6.9, you know, which is still high for percentage, but it's not 23. Yeah. Um, right. But if you've got a 500 credit score and, and your history is shaky, then yeah, your, your credit's going to be higher. Mm -hmm. Um, I tell guys all the time, if you're not rechecking your credit about half, you know, four or five, uh, six months in, then you're messing up. Recheck mm -hmm. your, have them rerun your credit. Your credit may have dropped. Yeah, you got to spend $300 to get the new interest rate, but would you not do that anyway? Yeah. Um, I know I would, because would when, the, when the interest rate drops, your payment's going to drop, all that. Um, try it. I would. Well, like, you know, when I bought my box, you know, I still had snap on bill and I had a bill with Joe and all this and I was paying like $25 over the minimal. Now I pay three times, you know, I pay three payments every time I make one, you know. So, and the way you explained it, the interest, it don't, it's not like compounded at the front. It's like simple it, interest, it's it, not compounding. So. You know, so I'm actually doing better by making a bigger payment right. each time. So We've actually had people that um, when they pay off early, they'll actually get a check in the mail um, because we can't keep the extra money. I mean, right. if we don't we don't have that in the contract to where, oh, well, you paid over. So mm -hmm. um, we had a kid that walked on the truck, asked his payoff. Um, we told him his payoff. He sent it in. He's done. He paid it off three years early. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to you. Um, but then we also have people that will pay ahead, and then they'll stop, and they'll let their balance kept back up with their payment. Well, the only problem with doing that is you've saved no interest now yeah. because now you're not paying off early. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got that grace period, and and that's okay with some people. Some people's like, well, that's fine. Mm -hmm. It helped me out. I you know I broke my leg or I was in a car right. wreck and I didn't work. And um, I had one guy that that got real sick with COVID and he was off work for two and a half months. And guess what? He come back. He was still ahead. Mm -hmm. um, but it also gives them the chance to where if they need something on the truck, they can say, hey, well, I'm a thousand dollars ahead on my box. Uh, let me go right. ahead and buy this, and then I'll I'll stop making these payments for a minute and exactly pay this. Right. Yeah. However you want to do it. If you're ahead, you can do that. It's always better, I think, to have a lower payment. You know, you can make and pay more on it. Well, when than you to set yourself at the maximum and struggle because. You're always gonna need other tools, you know. Like, yeah. if I'd have set my toolbox payment at what I paid the week, and like when I ordered that paint flashlight, it would have been a struggle to, you know, to get it. So, so the, the only the only advantage to doing that is there is no advantage. Um, mm -hmm. It'll, I mean, it'll look like there is because you'll be like, oh look, see, I'm paying less interest. That's only if you, you know, pay that much every time. If you yeah. get behind because you couldn't make that payment. Then you've lost um, it. Right? I don't mean this in a bad way. So if you've said this before, I don't mean it in a bad way. But we hear all the time, it's better to make some than make nothing. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, I guess. But it's still not where it's supposed to be. So therefore, if you do that, you're still falling behind. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you you paid something, but you still, you're further behind. And and that's what I tell people. Um, don't, don't let your eyes get you in trouble when yeah. you're looking at that screen. Like on that cart right there, if I knew I could afford 35, that's fine. But if I could pay 75 or 85 a week, 
yeah. then you're way better off. I and wouldn't. that way, when you have that bad week, you know, refrigerator goes out of home, water line bust, AC unit goes out, and you got to spend all your money on that, you can still afford the 35 bucks, you know. Well, that's like on one of these uh, carts. I would never pay $15 a week. Yeah, yeah, I have it said that you can buy just the cart for $15 a week. I wouldn't mm -hmm. because here's what's going to happen. That's going to leave you, say that leaves you $400 in your check each week well then you're going to find something else that you like so then you're going to spend that much more and then you've got this much well what happens is you max your budget out right yeah. um, or that seems to be what happens mm -hmm. a bunch well then once you max that budget out and like you said something goes wrong all of a sudden i have to stop paying something because yep. of this right um but what i'll do is i'll take on that lesser payment and then i'll tell i'll budget it for higher mm -hmm. like i guarantee you if you was to go to a, a corvette dealership today you're not going to say well my payment on this truck is this much you're going to go with what you've been paying exactly um now if it's something that you absolutely have like if your washer goes out then yeah you're going to say hey i can drop that payment down exactly but if it's a luxury buy no i'm going with what i'm actually paying well that's what i did you know like when i had you order that flashlight and i bought that pub table i'm like i'll just drop my toolbox payment in half and the rest of that payment will go on my regular bill so that, that's it and that and that's the that's the smart way to buy don't it. back I mean, yourself in a corner no you know? but think about it so. if you put your payment that high it's not like you can renegotiate at that point exactly hey you, know? you said it was 15 a week yeah but you signed a contract a contract you took me mm -hmm. out a contract for a hundred dollars a week there's nothing i can do yeah. and we have that conversation and i warn people i've even tried to not sell people boxes because it's like hey you know, you struggled with this kind of truck payment. Are you mm -hmm. sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in three months, I'm like, hey, man, you haven't made a payment in a while. Is there something we can do, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but we have that all the time. You know, we have uh, the, the people that, that think that the dealer is, you know, some way able to change it. We're not. Um, yeah, that's between you and the finance company at that I, point. Yeah, so. I mean... That's just like a car dealer. Once the car dealer sells the car, yeah. there's nothing That's he it. can do. You know, well, he sold it. Yeah, he sold it, but he didn't give you the money. Mm -hmm. I can guarantee you that no toolbox that I've ever sold has uh, been financed by me or her. There's, it's, it's not. I'm not that type of business. I don't mm -hmm. have that capital to do that. Sure. So, um, we'll help you out as much as we can, but once you sign that contract, it, it is. And we try to eliminate the pulse sale, mm -hmm. you know, the impulse buys. I like when people buy toolboxes, um, but I also don't like to see people in buying. So yeah, me either. We, well, when are, when are y'all going to get the extractors you was talking about in the... I haven't followed up on that. I I'm will, curious to see that. I'm curious myself. Um, we have a sales meeting coming up this month, so maybe they'll be there. I don't cool. know. Um, we bought a lot at the last two sales meetings, so I haven't uh, got on there and lo uh, looked to see what's on this one or anything, but we definitely got to get some more coming in. So yeah. uh, there's a couple of new things coming out that I'm kind of excited about. So um, just big stuff it, or little stuff? Well, we it's a mix. Um, it's hard. They, they try to spread it out throughout the year so that they have new stuff so I, I hate to let it out of the bag and then something happened and then right. it's pushed back because that's happened to me before so i don't do that but <laughs> uh you know i mentioned um crap i think it's been almost a year ago about we were coming out with a new max flex you know it's mm -hmm. gonna be redesigned it's just now really it's just now dropped yeah. so i've told myself let's not do that no more <laughs> Like, let's wait till they got the order going, you know. Yeah. Uh, that's just like if they had told me two months ago, hey, y'all are fisting a partner with Milwaukee, I wouldn't have told a soul because I'd be like, no, something happened. Mm -hmm. This ain't going to work. You know, something to come up. Uh, you learn a lot when you're running a business, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it is what it is, though. That's all right. All right, man. Well, thanks for explaining the tool truck finance to guys because I know there's a lot of questions on that from the last video. Anyway. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you do, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes is down in the description. If you're not subscribed, take your finger. Click that button. Y'all have a great weekend. It's Friday. See ya. <laughs>